So my best advice for anyone attempting to be a YouTuber, quit. Just stop, stop wasting your time. It is the holiday season. It is a time for us to be thankful and express our gratitude. So today, I want to thank Keemstar for all of my success. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel's all about mental health. And what I like to do is take from my own experiences, as well as YouTube, community, news, and all of that, and try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So we are going to start out by Saying where I am, I guess. Uh, yeah, so I don't know if any of you have noticed, but I've had this weird clicking noise in my mic, and I spent like hours trying to figure it out and edit it. But now, here's what we're gonna do, everybody. Well, do I have any boogers? Okay, cool. So I'm gonna go into my settings. And yeah, it's something happening on that side of the room and I'll figure it out later. So I'm on the couch and there's a cat right next to me. Anyways, let's jump into a story time real quick. So last year I started my YouTube channel and I started taking it seriously around July. And towards the end of the year, I had a goal. I had a goal that I wanted to hit 500 subscribers by December 31st, 2017. Well, not long after that, um, in January, YouTube came out with an announcement, all right? And they were switching their partner program. And what that means is they were switching the way they would let you be a partner, which means that you get ads in your videos. So they said that you, by a certain deadline, I can't remember what the deadline was, they said, by this date, you need to have 1,000 subscribers as well as 4,000 watch hours. And people were losing it. People were losing it, right? And it was big news and everybody's freaking out, especially small YouTubers like myself. And you know, I was pretty bummed out about it. But then, hoo, 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 then my man Keemstar came in. My man Keemstar came in to motivate me. And here is what he had to say. It's gonna take a couple minutes, but trust me, it's worth it. So now everyone's asking me, well, what advice do you have for small YouTubers? Quit. You cannot make it in this game anymore, all right? You're not going to make it. There is way too much competition. You, you gotta understand this. Part of the reason why YouTube is doing this rule where you can't get ads on your videos unless you have 1,000 subscribers and 400,000 uh, hours of watch time is because everybody in the goddamn world is attempting to be a YouTuber and there's millions and millions and millions of videos being uploaded every goddamn day and everybody is attempting to put ads on them. Now, if you have any concept of supply and demand, um, well, there's just not enough ads to go around. If you wanna do YouTube for fun, just have fun and see where it goes, God bless you. But if you're doing YouTube to become a multi-millionaire and have all this success and be rich and famous, I'm sorry, it's just not, it's not gonna happen. It's not going to, ha it's not going to happen, dude. First of all, there isn't any original ideas anymore, all right? There's no original concepts anymore. And if there is an original idea, it gets stolen and copied from about 10 other YouTubers like that, the minute they see a little success. And because the competition is so steep and so high, you have YouTubers willing to, to, to vlog next to dead bodies, okay? And you got other YouTubers willing to copy them. These motherfuckers are selling their souls to make it. And you think you can compete against them? You can't. And it's not like you just have to be entertaining, like that's just gonna work. No, dude, the, there's a whole like freaking strategic numbers games behind it. You have to be entertaining, you have to be a fucking mathematician, you have to sell your goddamn soul and do some crazy shit. You have to be lucky. And even if you do all that, you're still probably not gonna make it. So my best advice for anyone attempting to be a YouTuber, quit, just stop, stop wasting your time. This gold rush is over, okay? It's gone. 
Okay, go, go to plumber school. You'll do better there, trust me. So yeah, right there. I remember seeing that video. I remember seeing that video on Twitter and I'm like, all right, Keemstar, challenge accepted, mother all right, like that's what I want to talk to you guys about today. I just uh, did a collab with my buddy Kay, AKA Bipolar Pug. I'm gonna link that video up in the info card down in the description. Like you guys, like I, I get fueled by that stuff. I get fueled by people telling me what I can't do. And when somebody like Keemstar was telling me what I couldn't do, that just gave me motivation and drive. And you know what? You know what? I was able to hit the 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours by that deadline earlier this year, all right? Most of you watching this right now, I am currently at over 33 thousand subscribers this year, okay? So don't let people like Keemstar tell you what you can't do. Use that as motivation, use that as fuel, right? People like this wanna keep you down because there's less competition. You know what I'm saying? Like he was talking about how there's no more original ideas, you have to sell your soul, you have to do all these other things, right? So one of the things is, I figured out an original idea. I figured out a way to teach people about mental health by using things going on in the YouTube community. Seemed pretty original, doesn't look like anybody else is doing it, so that's why my channel's doing well. But, but then Keemstar, he had to rain on that parade too, right? When he said, he said, but even if you do have an original idea, someone's gonna come in and steal it. See, that's one of the issues. That's one of the issues that we all face. Everybody tries to keep so guarded and they don't want their amazing ideas to get out there because somebody's gonna steal it. Well, let me tell you this, all right? And it's funny because I was actually talking to my friend Diane from the channel Diane Jennings. Like people are so secretive about this stuff. Let me tell you this. People can steal your ideas all they want, but who has more hustle? right? Who's willing to put in more work? Who's willing to do better? You know what I mean? There's channels with less subscribers than me and don't even reply to their comments. They don't even reply to their tweets. They don't even reply to their DMs. This is the type of hustle that I have. So this is what I'm telling you, like, don't let people keep you down. Just do better. Be better. Take that as motivation. Don't let anybody, don't let anybody, especially Keemstar, tell you what you can't do. And wow. So Keemstar told me something else. Keemstar told me a little something else. And what this was, was I was a little upset. I was a little upset about Keemstar. He was on, on that better help scam train, right? And he acted like he really cared about people with mental illness, you know? And the thing was, and I pointed it out in another video, this is the guy who was talking trash on Demi Lovato after she overdosed, right? You need to be a better judge of character and see if people's actions line up with their words. Like, when's the last time you saw like Keemstar donate a bunch of money to the American Foundation of Suicide Prevention? When did you see him donate a bunch of money to any type of mental health cause? In fact, if I'm being honest, Keemstar got a bunch of backlash for talking crap about Demi Lovato on Twitter after she overdosed. But now all of a sudden, Keemstar really cares about people and mental illness. And oh my God, like, give me a break. And then, and then over his childish, Twitter feud with Pokimane, he was telling people, you know, to jokingly kill themselves. So I made this tweet right here, calling him out for being a hypocrite, right? And it's funny because when he was yelling at Pokimane, he was talking about being a virtue signaler and all that, but that's kind of what you're doing when you're pretending like you care about mental health when you really don't. Well, anyways, I was honored because he managed to see my tweet, and then he tweeted at me, this, here's a mental health advice. Walk, jog, run, you sad man. So I took this and I posted it on my Instagram because here's the next thing. Keemstar doesn't think that I'm gonna be able to walk, jog, or run and lose this weight, which I'm doing. I'm already down 50 pounds since last year, but I just wanna let you know, let people tell you what you can't do. Let people keep telling you what you cannot do so you can throw it right back in their face. Like, I'm sorry, this, this seems a little um, sassy in this video, but like I was talking about in my video with Kay, Kay was in an abusive relationship. And like, we have to take that because we always have one of two options, one of two options. We prove them right 
or we prove them wrong. And let me tell you this, it feels so much better to prove people wrong. Do you guys realize six and a half years ago, people said a guy like me was never gonna stay sober. Six and a half years ago, people said a guy like me was going to die before the age of 30, okay? I took that and rather than rolling over and giving up, I used that as fuel, all right? People never thought in a million years that I would be where I am today. So Keemstar, I'm sorry, but that last part of your comment is definitely wrong because I'm not sad. I'm one of the happiest people that you'll ever meet because every single day I take the hate that people give me and I turn that in, into fuel to help other people and become a better person myself, all right? So I want all of you to go out and do the same and I wanna hear some of your stories down in the comments below, all right? What have you done? What if people told you that you couldn't do and then you went out and did it? Let me know down in the comments below, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for you with this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And guess what? Holiday merch sale, all right? There is a 10% off code in the Teespring shop, so it will be linked down in the description and in the uh, comment, all right? Use coupon code SOLUTION, all right? Thanks so much for watching. Check out the new sweaters, and I'll see you next time.